hey guys, this is sort of an informative, possibly a small rant. This is the second take on this audio, though, I will say, because the other one sort of got a little heated, just like the video last night. Um, if you all are looking for the stream from last night and you can't find it, for some reason YouTube is acting freaky. I put a link for that stream, that live stream, on my community tab so that you can find it easily there. It's entitled, or it starts out, Summer Wells, Let's Chat. Um, and it has a picture of Summer on it as the thumbnail. I do want to point a few things out. Someone said last night that Crystal Spencer was in jail. I did call Hawkins County. No, she was not there found her in Green County and she is there for only one charge and one charge only and that's a violation of probation and no other charges with it. There's no release date, there's no bond set and to get just a violation of probation just means that either she didn't go in and see her probation officer or that she didn't pay the fines and court costs and stuff. If there was anything else, you know, like a speeding ticket or she failed a drug test or something like that, it would have showed up as a charge, but it didn't. So, but, I mean, she literally just, like, didn't go see her probation officer or something. Um, and as far as uh, the, the Tim video that I did yesterday, I've seen a lot of people had gotten upset because he made the statement that Don is the head of the house. Um, I, I have a lot of other issues with Tim Mullins other than the fact that he made a statement that sort of goes along with the United States government's belief, which is if there's a man and a woman in the house and or two people, two people in the house, whether it be same sex or not, um, there is normally a head of the house. If you will look on most all documents, legal documents, it will ask you name of head of household. Even on your tax returns, it asks if you are the head of the house. So, and especially when it comes to religion, most religious people still believe in the old core values of, you know, head of household, that kind of thing. So I'm sorry you all take a fit, took offense to that. Like I said, I have bigger fish to fry when it comes to Tim Mullins, other than the fact him calling Don the head of the house, which I do think that the channel and the, the name of the channel should have been the Wells family or the Wells children or just the Wells family. It shouldn't have had Don's name in there. I don't think it should have had Don or Candace's name in there. Again, I apologize for the sore throat, the, the scratchy sound in my throat, guys. I woke up this morning and was having trouble even talking. Um, as far as last night goes and the live stream, and what happened at the end of it, and me losing my temper, that was simply because I had asked, and, I, and I'm only going to say two or three sentences on this, I had asked everyone that was coming into chat to be respect, respectful of my guest, that if you would just be quiet, and listen to what was being said, whether you believed it or not. You might learn something. Because although I do believe what Star said, I understand there are other people who may not have. But amongst every lie, there is truth. And if you all will take the time and try to understand that and learn that and learn to keep your mouths shut while somebody else is talking, you might learn something you didn't know. Or you might be able to take a couple of the other pieces that you're finding out and put them together. Or if you hadn't have showed your butts like you did, 
been there might have been a more hope for Candace to have come and talked with me or got on panel. But no, you had to show your butts. You had to make it about Ken or Grandis and her supposed alleged fake leg instead of just letting it be about Summer and finding out what we could about her. Now, I don't care what you all think. I don't care if you believed her. I don't care if you didn't. And as I've said, I'm not saying one way or the other whether somebody is guilty or innocent. I do know that every person deserves respect, especially when that's what they're giving you is respect. And until you personally see something with your own eyes, you should not, you should learn not to call someone a liar. Now, if you're standing there looking at it, touching it, when it comes to the grandest's leg, for example, if you have stood beside her, you have looked at her leg, you have touched it, and I don't care what you see in the pictures, okay? You've not been around those people. You've not seen those people in a year. You don't know. And I think it's really crappy of you all to have called somebody who has actually been there. And I do have proof that she was there and was up there for a while. I think it's crappy that you all would stand and call her a liar when you yourself have not even stood there, have not talked to these people. That's that's all I'm going to say on it. I'm, I'm ashamed that those people were even in my chat last night. If you unsubbed, I'm glad. If you do not want to be associated with my channel anymore, good. I will not compromise my morals and my values and the way I believe in how people should be treated to go along with your narrative, your belief, and, and your I, don't, I, don't, I can't even come up with a word. It was just what you all did or the, the people that did the wrong in chat last night. It was just horrible. And you are, all ought to be ashamed of yourself for the people who actually was there to listen and learn something that you may not have known. I thank you. I thank you for the respect that you showed chat, the mods, the subs, my guest, and myself. And I hope you all will please come back and enjoy more shows. I believe when I have an important guest on that concerns this case from now on, there will be no live chat. It will be turned off because I was very disappointed that I didn't get to finish the interview because I flew mad and I'm not even sure which which statement or question or whatever it was that I read. All I know is I saw red when I read it. That sounds really bad. Sorry. But when, when I seen the statement or question, all I could do was see red. And I don't even remember who made it or who what it said. But I knew I had took all I could take. And I wasn't going to subject Star or anybody else to any more of your childish ridicule whereas if you did not believe her you had the opportunity to turn the video off i mean nobody was forcing you to stay there and watch or listen or believe you could just turn the video off but no you all insisted on ruining the live stream 
for all the people who were interested in hearing whatever it may have been. And as I keep saying, for every lie, there is some truth. And if you'd have just took the time and read between the lines, and Star, I'm not saying I don't believe you, but if you'd have read between the lines, you might have learned something that you didn't know. So, you know, you have to live with it, not me. I know I do everything I can to respect other people. And if you don't, then that's pretty sad for your life. That you can't give anybody the benefit of the doubt that you have to be so right that you can't even you can't even stop and listen. If even if you don't believe it, you don't even have the respect for somebody to just go away. You have to try to prove that you're right. And it wasn't even about Brandis. It was about learning about Summer and her life, her home, her family, and learning things that we did not know, little small things that we've all, that's nagged at us, that we've all wanted to know. And I thought we were going to get to continue. I mean, I had no plans of ending at any time, you know, like at two hours or three hours. We were going to keep going and try to get everybody's questions answered. But, you know, there always has to be a rotten apple in every bunch. And last night there were several several so much so that somebody that was in there came into one of my other videos and informed me that i needed to change my channel name because god doesn't have demons in his mind amidst him and his angels and that i was nothing but the devil himself and that all the people that hang out in my channel are demons and that people should stay away from my channel. Don't feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for the person who wrote that. Because they're the, pro they're the ones with the problem, not me. I'm good with me and God. We're good. And to me, destroying my channel, you think you're going to try to destroy my channel and that's going to harm me? No. What it's going to do is take away one more channel that's out here trying to help little children who are lost and who need recognition and need their names and their stories and their pictures put out there. All you all are doing is taking that away. One last channel. Yeah, there's plenty of channels out there. But these little kids need every person trying to help. To me, it's just a channel. I mean, the channel itself, it's just a channel. Taking it away from me is not hurting me. Taking my ability away to try to help lost kids. That's hurting the kids, not me. And when you accomplish that, you'll be the one to answer to God, not me.